I have some fun. Hello everyone, a quick message before we start the video. Do you want to become a VIP member of the channel and have the right to use sved emotes in the video comments and live streams? If so, then you can join for only one dollar. You heard me right, one dollar gives you the right to join the VIP room of the Discord and use sved emotes. Join now. Now on with the video. Do you want to create something like this? Or this? Or maybe even this? Well, first of all, let's make something basic. So let's say you want to make a bot that places this tower somewhere on the map. We can make this even easier with using the keybind Q to choose the correct tower. Now when we count up all the things we need to do, it comes down to 1. Press Q to select the tower. 2. Click on a certain location of the map. So first of all, let's find the coordinates. To easily find the coordinates on screen, we will use the outlet window info. Just drag the crosser to the location and it will tell the coordinates. Now that we have the coordinates, let's go the bot. Head back to your desktop and create a new outlet script. The first thing we do is to create a hotkey that starts the function. So when we press P, the set monkey function plays. After that we need to set a infinite loop so the bot doesn't close on start. Now let's write the set monkey function. Send the string Q. After we have selected the tower, we need to click on the screen. So we will use mouse click. Now we use the coordinates we gathered before. And set the clicks to 1 and the time it takes to move to that place to 1. We want to make it instant. Now we are done, let's test it again. Just remember to start the script before we go in game. Press P to activate or whatever hotkey you set. Let's test it at a slower time. Works beautifully. Let's make some more bots. Alright, so for the second script or bot or whatever you want to call it, we will make it for aim booster so just search on google aim booster and we can either play the challenge we click all the targets 
and if you miss, you lose. So we want to make something that automatically clicks these targets. So let's make it a full screen and uh, close it down. So make a new script, uh, outfit free, let's call it I'm Booster Cheat oh, to, oh. and edit script. We do as before with hot keys and the key I will use P again and the function let's call it aim. We will also set a hotkey to kill the program if it's needed. So uh, let's just use esc and uh, let's call the function kill switch. We create an infinite loop like before. Sleep 50. The infinite loop is f so we can at any time start any functions with alt keys, so it just run runs in the background. Now let's create the aim function. So first of all, we will loop it, and it will be infinite. So while one, uh, it will search for a pixel on the screen. So. We have to define a variable. Oh, wrong one. We use a dollar sign when we do that. Let's call it pixel, uh, pix equals pixel search. And now we have many arguments. So left, top, right, bottom. So left, x coordinate, top, y coordinate, bottom. Uh, no, right, x coordinate and bottom y coordinate. And the color we want to sh search for, as well as shade variation. So we can choose colors nearby. And step, I don't know what that is, so let's skip it. So search for auto window info, like before, and go back to the aim booster website now. This is the area we're playing. So take the crosshair tool, put it in the top left corner first, take the posi position values, go back to the script, paste it. And now let's go and get the bottom right as well. So do that, copy paste. Now I have a rectangle over this area. Now we just need the color. So thankfully the this is the color that as well displays in the game. So we can just use the finder tool again, put it here in the middle, color, take that one and put it here. And for shade variation just put one because in some challenges it actually fades out. So it's not that bad to use one shade variation. All right, so how we will know if it's found in a pixel is because it, this will be displayed as an array. So if is array parenthesis and a variable so the pix as we showed earlier then yeah that's it then mouse click left because we want to press the left mouse button for click then the coordinates that we got from the pixel search. So as it is an array, thereby 
we can just pick the zero index. So the first value will be the x value and the second will be the y value. So after that just one because we want or another one. So one click and one millisecond time. After that you just need to end if uh, v end while loop end and end funk. Before we start that would be a bad idea. Let's create a kill switch function first. So function kill switch and just exit if the button is pressed and end funk. So it's a very easy script and let's test it out. Alright, let's test it at game mode speed. Why not? So, uh, why not? We can use 19 targets per second. Target size, 7, seven pixels lives. Seems about right. And F5 to start. And that's right. That's beautiful. All right. So I'm gonna just let this be a bit. Let's go to a thousand targets. Accuracy one hundred percent. 